All right, Tamika, we appreciate it. We're back at Dixie Heights High School here in Edgewood talking about school pride. You know, it doesn't just stay here once you graduate. That's right. You know, generations of uh, colonels have walked through these doors, but we found a place just down the road where discussions of Dixie never die. Daryl Newton has been at Sparrow Newton's Barbershop in Fort Wright for 51 years. In fact, he liked it so much, his son Todd came on board 31 years ago. Both graduated from Dixie and spent decades coaching for Dixie. Now, future colonels and current students come in, but they're not alone. It's those Dixie alums, young and old, who come in for a cut and to reminisce. Football at Dixie, it builds a family unity. My son's a sophomore there, so... and. That's where my love is at Dixie. And, and the Newtons know better than anybody. Todd will be in, on the field here tonight as Dixie gets ready for the first home game of the season against Scott. That's right. All the Tri-State is playing football. Ohio, this is week two for Kentucky and Indiana. And that on your side has more resources thrown to you, the frenzy, so to speak, on Friday nights. That includes Chopper 9, and it also means sports director John Popovich and Mike Dyer, who break down the big games from this week. Good morning, everyone. John Popovich along with Mike Dyer. The first big Friday night in Ohio, and what a game to start it off with Coleraine at LaSalle. Less than four miles separate these two uh, west side rivals, Popo. Coleraine LaSalle, this is uh, as, as good as it gets when it comes to week one. Okay, another one. Princeton at West Claremont, and half the people are going to go, West Claremont, where's that? It's a new school. Glen Estee and Amelia merged. Uh, Wolf Stadium holds 4,000. you got got 1,000 people, uh, standing room only. Princeton, new coach Mike Daniels ton of energy over there. And number three, it's GL, GCL against GMC. It's Elder against Lakota West. Elder and Lakota West at Princeton. This was a game that was moved from Nippert Stadium. Uh, Elder wants to uh, bounce back from their playoff loss against Mason. And Lakota West wants to bounce back from a 2-8 and eight record last season. It's going to be a great game. All three are going to be good ones. You could catch all the highlights of all three games on the Friday Football Frenzy at 11:15. John Popovich along with Mike Dyer, nine on your side. Well, I could tell you, Catherine, the frenzy kind of is starting here at Dixie you know, Heights this morning. When you get these musicians up this early, we got to listen to them one more time, right. right? All right, let's hear from the Dixie Marching Band. 